What's up everybody, it's your boy Lord Gosun with tips for Sims 4. Tip number one, you can edit your home by going to more in the bottom right corner just before starting your game. You can manage your home, you can evict people from the home, and you can even move to another household. Now, mind you, you can do these things for every household within The Sims. All you have to do is go to your bottom right hand corner, go to more. You can build freely without paying for anything. But when your Sim moves in, the price for that house may be a little costly if you already built there. But you can wipe out all the lots, you can edit every Sim and you can also evict families or move them to new locations. Tip number two, you can edit your sim once you already created your sim. The only things you cannot edit within your sim is the age, but everything else should be edible once you go back. If you're not satisfied with the look, the face structure, you can go into more go into manage once you go into manage you can go to edit and you will be able to edit tip number three if you click on your sim you will bring up other icons to do different stuff with your sim as far as choose your clothing now there's clothing for different type of events like going to bed and going to parties now there's a quick way to select these uniforms if you stay on the uniform and just switch between the events you can simply quickly pick clothes out for for your everyday for your um formal for your nighttime for your party events for your swimsuits events you can pick different clothing. You can wear regular clothes. You can wear a bathing, a bathing suit every day if you wanted to. All you got to do is go through these options. Make sure you're clicking on the event that you want that clothing to be worn for. <clears throat> and voila, you've just created your sim to be dressed for any occasion as comfortably as you see fit for your sim. Tip number four, be mindful to do your chores and do your activities. These are your life goals right here. These are your overall life goals. These I would like to call mindful goals where you can do little traits here and there, but be mindful that these will change depending on the emotions of your sim. If the emotion changes then that main mindful goal will change with it most likely more than likely but be mindful to do these things because in the process of doing these things you earn what is called reward store points within this reward store you can buy little magic potions that can recover regenerate your your energy regenerate your hunger regenerate your funness regenerate your 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 <clears throat> your um your hygiene now there's other ones i will be going into detail about but this is just mindful tips for everyday playing and beginner beginner players to the sims 4 on con on console so be sure to do these little side quests and these little side missions so you can go into your store buy what you need be mindful that when you do buy it you have to access your inventory like i am now and drink it and you can place it in the world this place it in the world comes into handy because if you don't have enough credits on a different sim to get something in particular you can always use the sim who has more credits buy that item put it in the world control the other sim to pick it up and use it for themselves be mindful of this 
This can come in handy when you're in desperate and stressful times as a sim. Tip number five, when repairing stuff, I will always advise you to never call a repair person. Can you, cause within repairing stuff, you gain the skill of repairing. And once you reach a certain level, I believe it's level two or level three, you can then start to upgrade different types of items in your home as far as your sink, your toilet, your shower. You can upgrade these these um these household products once your repair skill is up to par. Also, when you repair, there will be little scraps of garbage that end up on your floor. Now these scraps of garbage will give you scraps and different parts you need to carry out certain type of repairs for your household products. Now upon scrapping this garbage, you will get scrap parts, whether it be for the shower, whether it be for the toilet, whether it be for the sink and other trinkets within your household. In just a second, I'm going to show you what the scrap piles look like and be mindful not to just throw trash away because some of the trash that ends up on the floor has scrap piles within it that you can scavenge for and gain those scraps for repairing and also upgrading other stuff. Now this is a little introductory as to what I'm speaking about. Be sure to scrap your parts from these garbage piles when you repair or if they just show up in your front yard from people kicking your garbage can over which happens to me occasionally now that my son is a pain in the ass to everybody in the neighborhood and also be sure to clean up your garbage once you scrap everything that's in that garbage can't just be leaving a mess around nobody likes a messy sim and last but not least we got a bonus tip right here Bonus tip, I figured this out about a day ago. You can click on the street and you can fast travel that way. That is so convenient because some people just can't get to their cell phone because for some reason I always fumble around when I'm trying to go reach for that cell phone and travel somewhere. So if you want to travel travel real fast without having to look through your cell phone to, to do it, just click on the street and it'll give you the option to travel. I hope you enjoy these tips and I'm looking forward to doing more tips. Please come back and enjoy my live streams of my Sims and other games as well. Tell me what I'm missing, tell me what I need to improve on and please give me your, your questions so I can gladly answer them if I may.